this demo video, we're going to take an existing vSphere cluster that's configured using vSphere configuration profiles, and we're going to add an additional host to that and see how we apply the configuration to the newly added host. So we have our cluster here. It's already configured with vSphere configuration profiles. Everything is in a compliant state. We'll just double check that. We've got host one, host two, and host three. Everything is compliant. We have a fourth host here, ESX4, has no data stores. If we check its VM kernel adapters, it's only got the management network. It's only got management network port groups, things like that. So we wanna add this host to our cluster and apply the cluster configuration to the newly added host. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add the host as normal. So there'll be a compliance check that will be initiated every time a new host is added to a cluster. Now we're going to expect to see some compliance failures here for host four because the cluster document does not currently uh, have any information about host four. So the first thing we'll do is we'll export the current cluster configuration document. We'll open that in our text editor. Now we can minimize the main uh, ESX profile, that's everything that's, um, it's all the configuration that is agnostic to the hosts. And we have our reference host here. So where we're looking at is the host specific section. And we have some host specific uh, configuration for ESX1, ESX2, ESX3, and so on. So we'll, we'll add ESX4 to the end of this uh, section. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just copy one of these blocks to a new, a new document. We'll update the IP addresses that we know for host four, so they'll end in 54. Update the host name and the iSCSI identifier. And the last thing we need to update for this particular host is its UUID. We can get that from the compliance messages. So this would be the BIOS UUID for this particular host. Copy that, add it in to our section. And now we should be able to copy this to the end of our host specific section of our document. So at the end of a host specific section, add a comma, and paste that in. And again, we will take a full copy of this and we'll just validate it just to make sure our JSON syntax is correct. Valid JSON. We'll save the file. We'll go back to our cluster and we'll import the updated cluster configuration document. Import is complete. Another compliance check will be initiated. And this time the status of host four changes from error to, to non-compliance. And we can see all the aspects that it is non-compliant for. It's missing port groups, VM kernel NICs, iSCSI information, and NTP. So let's remediate this host. There'll be pre-checks to make sure that there's nothing jumping out that may prevent the remediation from occurring. And we can review the impact under the host level details and see what's going to happen to host four for the remediation. If we check one of the other hosts, there's nothing there. They're not going to be touched in this remediation event. Click remediate. And the cluster configuration will be applied to ESX4, along with the host specific information that we also defined, like its IP address and host name.
So host four has been remediated and is now compliant with the cluster configuration. So that concludes this demo video of adding a new host to an existing cluster configured with vSphere configuration profiles.